everybody. My name is Lucas Sims. I am a Chicano from the West Side of San Juan de Texas. I am a Catholic. And this is my own personal biased opinion. Um, kind of didn't get to finish the video yesterday, but I, I wanted to talk about prayer. You know, people always talk about prayer works and the power of prayer works. Jesus said, um, I forgot how it goes exactly, but if two or more people pray, that he will answer you, right? And we always talk about how prayer isn't answered on our time. Sometimes it's answered for God's time to teach you something, whether it's patience or, or something that you have to learn along the way. So for those of you who have been following my story for years, you know about my legal problems uh, from just a few years ago. So I had court on Tuesday. And basically I was told I was going to go to prison. The first attorney said, you're going to prison. There's no way you qualify for probation. The severity of the case, you're going to prison. It's just a matter of how much. I said, okay, cool. I, I, I accepted it. I, I told myself that if, if that is his will, then that's what must be done, right? I just have to accept it. I can either fight it or accept it. It's better to just accept it and go along with God's plan for you, right? Somebody even told me, it's like, maybe it's your 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 plan to to minister to people in there. I said, I didn't think about that, right? So, along the way, along the way, along the way, first attorney decides to change jobs and he gives my case to another attorney, which was his mentor. This guy's really smart. He knows a lot. We talk. He's like, well, you know, things have changed. You, you got a pretty good report from the probation office. You got a pretty good report from pretrial. And they've even lowered the, the statutes or the limitations, I think they're called, uh, as far as sentencing goes. He says, now you're looking at 12 to 18. I was like, wow, so that's pretty good, you know? 12 months is a whole lot better than 15, right? <laughs> Three months in prison is a big deal. So I'm like, okay, I could do 12 with good time. Might be out in eight or nine. So I was nervous AF, right? And if you know anything about me in the past, I used to be this stubborn guy that wanted to do everything on my own, which is one of the reasons I got into this trouble in the first place. I wanted to, to, to solve my, my financial problems on my own. And I reached out to the wrong person, obviously, and I got in trouble. Um, it's a whole different other video. And I should have reached out to all my family and friends, right? So he's talking to me and he says, you know, it could go either way, you know, because some of the people have gotten probation, but I don't think you're going to get it because you owe a lot of money. He says, but it could go either way, knowing this judge. But if you want to, you can ask people to write letters to the judge. And, you know, the old me would have been like, F it. I'm going to just, you know, take take my chance and see what happens. But then uh, we talk about conscience, right? I talk about conscience to the kids. And it's that voice in the back of your head that tells you, like, no, don't do it. And that voice in the back of my head was like, ask for help ask for help and they <laughs> my conscience talks to me like that so i was like you know what i'm gonna ask people so i asked people it's like would you be willing to write a letter i asked some church friends i asked some non-church friends and i had a few people write to the judge and it paid off um uh i asked a lot of people to pray for me prayer works and i'm a living example that prayer works and that you shouldn't try to do everything by yourself. Um, I got probation. And I was just, I was just like so shocked. But it, it just it's just a living example of how, how much prayer works. So yeah. It works. God bless you.